Hello everyone. In this video I'll show you how I made this effect using uh, you know, strokes and text. Here are some examples. But the end results will be uh, a little bit different than these. But but the uh, the technique is similar. Go to object and open objects and fill stroke fill and stroke window because we are going to use these two. Create a rectangle, change units to pixels, and change the size to 1920 by 1080. Turn off the, stro uh, the uh, stroke paint and change the uh, fill color to gradient. Select the first node and change it to uh, purple. Select the second node, change the dark blue. You can choose whatever, whatever color you want. I will end up changing these colors. And once you're satisfied with uh, the colors, you can then create the text. Align the uh, center. Move it in the center of the uh, background. And also want some. Uh, uh, want to increase distance between the uh, lines. Change the font to your liking. I recommend using a bold font. Boldy. Let's uh, combine strokes. Now it's in a group. Make sure we ungroup it by pressing Ctrl Shift G, or you can go to uh, to objects and choose ungroup. Resize it. Now let's give it a different fill color, other than black. Let's create a spiral with other strokes that will be <coughs> intersecting with the uh, text. Change the value of turns to 50, diversions to 1, and inner radius to 0. Now, with the spiral selected, let's go to path, then object to path, or use the shortcut. Shift Control C. Move it one step down under the text. Now select the text and copy it. Control C for the shortcut, or you can right click and copy. Now go back and select this spiral path and open path effect uh, path effects windows uh, window. <laughs> Add an effect called Boolean operation. Change the operation from union to uh, cut inside. Enable swap opens and paste the text. Now let's change the color. Uh, I decided to give it a gradient color. Select the first node and uh, give it a color of your liking. Select the second node and give it a second color. Again, it's up to you. You can change it, change it whenever you want. Now, here I'm changing the thickness of the stroke, something a little bit thicker. Looks a lot better. And change the cap to round. Looks uh, more, uh, you know, modern. Now with the uh, text selected, select the text. Um, select the text and go to uh, combine. 
so Inkscape does not crash if you do uh, any uh, weird stuff. And here is the end result that I've done. I've edited the video. Video. If you if you're wondering why uh, why this popped up suddenly, I simply changed some colors, and this is the end result. I hope you liked the video. Until next time.